back to my channel and to a little daily vlog. I feel like this is going to be a super nice one. The weather is absolutely stunning in London this morning. We've had nothing but rain for like weeks. It feels like it's been a really like miserable end to winter and the start of spring. We're in April now. Happy April. How has that happened? I can't believe we're already a quarter into the uh, madness. Also, sorry about my voice. I've got a bit of a sore throat. Um, I'm hoping, fingers crossed, I'm not coming down with anything. I've taken some cold and flu tablets. I've had an orange this morning, some orange juice. Got that vitamin C into me. I always forget which one that is. I did some like steam salts yesterday. So I'm really trying. I've got some throat spray with me. So fingers crossed, we can just keep this a bit and it just subsides. So yeah, bear with me. So if I do sound a bit croaky, that's why. Yeah, today is going to be such a nice day. I'm going to head into town and meet up with Ewan. And we're gonna do like our nice little spring look around the shops. So we're gonna have a look at like Primark Home, um, John Lewis. We're gonna have a little mooch in H&M Home as well, just to see if they've got any bits for spring. Only thing I'm kind of in the market for is a slightly smaller vase. All of our vases are really big, and we picked up some tulips at the weekend, and the tulips are a little bit too short for the vase. I'm looking around trying to think if there's anything else we can use, but it would be really nice. And we've made some little changes to the living room as well, so I will show you those when we're back, including a Facebook Marketplace find that I am so impressed with. It's going to be a really fun vlog. I'm going to get the train. I need to leave in about five minutes, so <laughs> I need to get a wiggle on, pack my bag, and uh, yeah, go meet you and let's go. So I've just got to Tottenham Court Road, Oxford Street, and I've completely never seen this new installation here. I feel like we've got our own version of Times Square here. This is really cool. It's called the Now Building. It's like an art installation light piece. So cool. There's always something new to be seen in London. I love it. I need to go and find you, and I am four minutes late. I was running out of the tube station. Like, I'm gonna be late. I don't know where he is, but. I'm sure I'll find him. Look who's arrived. Hello. We both got lost as we came out of Tottenham Court and I messaged you. Yeah. Where are you? So far away, like Honestly. opposite ends. It felt like opposite ends of like the road. We are just a bit useless, aren't we? Yeah. Unless we've had a coffee, we're just like, <sighs> Anyway, um, Ewan's on the hunt for a potential sofa for the loft, mm -hmm. aren't you? If, you um, if you've been following Ewan's channel for a while, he did a whole loft renovation. If like, you did a series on, yeah. it's like a playlist, isn't it? Oh yes. So I'll link that playlist down below so you can catch up. But Ewan's now trying to find a sofa for um, the roof. I'm just trying to like scout out what you kind of want, yeah, aren't see you? See what the options are. Yeah, we probably won't be buying one today. <laughs> Get that home on the tube. Yeah, on the bus. But yeah, we're outside Heels today, which is like a massive and huge furniture store. I've never been in, so uh, yeah, you can, I mean, it's a lovely store, isn't it? Look yeah. at that. Look, they've got their, I think it's a really, really old one. It's been here for, for years, hasn't it? You said there used to be yeah. a habitat next door, but um, look how fancy. Should we head on in? Yeah, let's, let's do it. You, you lead the way, mate. <laughs> Woohoo! Right, we're in cushion territory now. I have to message Zara any options, but I um, already see some that I quite like. Ewan's having a spray of the Malin and Gwartz fragrances. Hello. Apparently there's a cannabis one that's really nice. That sounds weird, but... That's gorgeous. Is it? Oh, that is good. We are um, relatively new to this brand. We tried it out, it was last year, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Apparently, I'm not sure where the cannabis one is. I know that sounds weird, I think it's the can. Oh, here we go. Cannabis candle. Oh, wow. But it doesn't smell like, I think they've just called it that, because I, 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 it doesn't, does it? No. But the smell is lovely. It's nice, it doesn't, it's it doesn't fresh, smell like it? that. Yeah. There we are, maybe it's just the name. <laughs> we won't be buying any kind of scans. Smell it in the street, don't you? Know, you can get that big strong box of it. It doesn't yeah, smell like that. It doesn't that smell situation. like that, not at all. Oh, there's the fragrance of it too. That's nice. It's quite a premium oh, brand, is that isn't it? Bit? Yeah. Let's try it. Let's don't know what that is. That smells really nice. <laughs> that smells lovely. It's really fresh. It's that good, isn't it? Yeah. I wonder why it's called that. Because it does, yeah, it doesn't smell well. There we are. I like the sideboard over here. This is lovely with the green sofa. Wow. That's a lovely sideboard. Nice little drawers. Oh, the quality feels fantastic. All of the textiles are really lovely quality. I think the premium price is kind of like reflected in that, like you know, like the feather inserts. Everything feels really nice and like plush, which is always a good sign. Um, yeah, very impressed. Oh, they've got rugs. Very nice. These striped bolster ones are very nice. I quite like those. Christina and Ludstein. I also feel like that's a really nice, like textured, small 
cushion which would work on the armchair. That's what we're trying to find today, something to go on the armchair. I know I didn't show you before I left, but I'll explain when we're back what we're doing. This gingham one is very tempting. I've just sent a photo to Zara to see what she says. I like that a lot though. Ooh, why do the noises always follow us? <laughs> we're just having a look at some of the history of heels. This building that we're currently in, how amazing. 1854, this is what it looked like on the outside. I swear my aunt and uncle actually have furniture from here still. The bricks at 196 to 198 Tottenham Court Road, that's where we currently are. Ewan just showed this on these vlogs as well. How kind of creepy does that look? So this was a bed department. Oh, it makes me feel a bit weird. I know it was obviously part of history, but it's very cool. 1890, look, they're making their mattresses there. Let's head on in. How incredible is that? Heels Heritage since 1810. I love the 50s vibe of this, this is brilliant. Something we've definitely considered is like an L shape, um, which I think like the little extender bit is so nice for like stretching out. But then a footstool would be a really lovely touch. It's nice to see the cushions in situ as well, very lovely. That's a very big angle poise lamp. <laughs> Look at the size of that. I actually used to have this one in the hallway, say Paul Smith style lamp. Very nice. Classic angle poise, never goes out of fashion. Now that is a bed of dreams. How magical is that? That is, it just looks so comfortable, doesn't it? Love the drama of it as well with the height. Look how funky these wall clocks are. Wow. They are incredible. All by George Nelson, the designer. We're just having a look at the classic Eames. This is um, Sweden about the design of it, 1956. Very lovely, we just sat in these <laughs> in Newman's vlog and we didn't want to get out of them. It's so cool, I feel like the installations are really clever and how like, they explain about the furniture pieces. It's nice to know about the history, it's like coming into a museum. The spiral staircase is incredible, look at that. Oh, wow, oh my goodness, I thought it carried on and on, but Ewan's right, it's like a reflective tabletop. Jeez, incredible. We just had to look through the clearance section to see if there's any um, deals to be had. It's a very nice armchair. It's lovely. Some good savings as well. Keep an eye on the sewing machine because you guys are not going to believe what we found at Facebook Marketplace at the weekend. We just found this um, piece of art from Kate Jenkins. It's fish and chips, but it's knitted, like crocheted. We've got sardines on toast, some little seafood platter, paella. Got some octopus tentacles and even a glittery lobster. <laughs> We've just stopped for a little coffee um, as a caffeinated refuel. <laughs> We're in Heels Cafe. It's lovely. I didn't realise there was a cafe here. It was really, really lovely. It's always good to know good places for loos and coffee in central London because they're always hard to come by and they're never where you need them as well. So there we are. If you're ever in and around the Tottenham Court area and you don't fancy the loos and McDonald's, Get yourself to heels and have a coffee while you do it. <laughs> just popped into Andrew Martin to have a look at their textiles and cushions as well, just to see if any are catching my eye. I love their designs. Very, very lovely prints. It's quite nice with the chin. I like that. Andrew Martin's store is fantastic. They've got some great little antique places and vintage finds. Look at this. Soka 1295, but it's an old, fantastic, a bandit machine, I think it's called? I don't know. The one thing that's synonymous with like Andrew Martin is like bold prints. I feel like bold patterns and prints are always like recognizable, so nice. They do all sorts, like textiles, bed linens, everything. We are now in the mothership, Primark Home. I feel like we're gonna have a very good time in here. Some lovely pieces already. I like these jars, they're quite nice. The wooden lids, very cool. How much are they? That's four pounds. Immediately spotted my eye. These bowls are lovely too. It's such a nice design, I love that. That's six pounds. We do them in the smaller size too for three pound fifty. It's a very, very nice little ball. Love those. Tablecloths as well, ten pounds. Florals are in for spring. Not that we need any more mugs, but I've just spotted these. They are three pounds fifty. Lovely glares. They look quite premium. Got them in dinner plates as well. Nice with like the lip and the glaze. I think they're really, really nice. They are 350 as well. That's a nice tablecloth. I love that. Two to four people. 10 pounds. Spotted a red sticker <laughs> item, which is always good. This is three pounds, like antique glass. It's quite nice. Some summer bits in as well. Summer is coming. Nice little lunch boxes and picnic blankets. Oh, we just need warm weather now. <laughs> 
They're quite sweet actually. A lot of questions about Zara's lunchbox and what she takes to work. That's good. Two lunchboxes with separate lids. Ball patterns are in for sure. Got some funky mugs as well. Radiate positivity. 250. And they're quite sweet as well with the little faces on. I like them. This is a really nice um, reed diffuser. Two bras, one here, an orchid. Love the print of that. That's very nice. Not sure how much that is. Oh, here pounds. It's not bad. I could definitely refill that as well. I'm really liking the more bold colours and patterns on designs. I think it's just so nice to see instead of like beige. These balls are lovely. More reduced items as well. I've seen these biscuit tins before. They are four pounds. That's such a good price with the ceramic lid. I love that. And you and spotted these little tour straps as well for three pounds as well. I'm very tempted by that. Not that we need it at all. <laughs> it's a good price. I featured these little trays in my kitchen organization video and you guys love them. They are one pound fifty and they come in different sizes as well. So they come in small and slightly larger as well and they're stackable really great affordable storage and they come in lots of different colours too. Got some lovely candles and here's some eucalyptus scents. I love that like reeded glass, I think that looks so premium. Got them in a nice <laughs> cork lid too, very nice. Double wick burner as well, that is £6. We've got some more decor pieces reduced, these are £3. These are good like little shelf fillers I feel, or like book ends. Really good, £3. Some nice vases down here as well, they might be reduced too. Oh no, they're full price, they're 10 very good price and lovely decorative bits. These little lanterns are fab. Such a nice price. They've got like a hanging rope as well. They are six pounds. I think they'd reflect the light beautifully. Grandma Corm's really stepped up its quality as well. I really think they've gone on the more premium side and I love that. That's such a nice vase. It's six pounds. So I'm just having a look at some of their cool candles and they've got such different shapes. I feel like they're really cool. I'm going to get these like taupey ones. Spot this little hello as well. I think that could, could look quite nice in the hallway. I'm going to send a photo to Zara and see what she thinks of that. It's like embroidered. They've got some cushions in the reduced section, but again, I don't really feel like it's the vibe that we're going for. Not too badly priced though, four pounds. But um, yeah, nothing that's really catching my eye as such. Some nice throws as well, but again, Ewan's empty handed, I've just got candles. That's all I've got, <laughs> doing it? well, yeah. I've got some nice lighting options as well. They've got little USB mini mushroom lamps. Very cool. I've just spotted these actually. I think it would look really nice on our bookcase. It's like a minimal lamp base and you just get a cool bulb to go on top. They are very nice. Have a look at the rug section as well, see what they've got going on. I feel like honestly, Primark have really stepped up their homeware. It's kind of more like hippie style, but yeah, it's very cool. Just have a look in the menswear and we spot some of these shirts. They're really, really nice actually. £12. Such a nice material too. Summit is on its way. And cargoes are having a big all comeback as well. I don't think I'd really wear them, but very cool nonetheless. It's all quite like hippie vibes. <laughs> Everything comes back in season, I swear. Just seen this shirt for £5. It's such a nice, like, oversized shirt. Pretty good. It's quite similar to the one that I spotted down there. It's lovely. That is... That was 25 and that's five. I'm very tempted by that actually, I think that's lovely. Sun's come out, which is always nice. I remember my sunglasses for the first yeah. time in forever. Um, I did get some bits in Primark. Most of which was in the sale, so I'll show you guys when I'm back. Um, but we're heading towards the Ivy now because um, I've been very kindly invited to try out their lunch menu. It's like a set menu, so it's good value, I imagine. And you Not get a cheeky lunch. glass of, yeah, cheeky glass of champagne in there. Well. That's good. So yeah, stuff. very nice, very nice for a Monday. We're yeah. just heading through Soho Square now. So it's swing a swing a right, and um, yeah, I'll catch you guys when we're there. Yeah. Yeah. Not with like the cushion. It's thrifted. Nice. You don't have to take the nice. Are you talking about? So you just at the bar and you almost like, I've got a present for you. I was like, what? I've got you a present. Oh, really? I'll bring you it next time. Oh. It's Ewan's birthday very soon, so I might tie that in the bed. Be like, the, you're gonna like what I've got you. I hope. Anyway, um, we're in the Ivy in Soho, um, and we're just waiting for our drinks, for our table to be ready. Ewan's just gave me this. The is it cancer research? Cancer I think. Research. Yeah. No, scope. scope. In Camberwell. How nice is that? It's more like a roll neck, actually. Yeah. Lovely. I mean, I love that. It looks very up your store. street. You're welcome. I think even with what I'm wearing today, it's Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Nice. So 
So this is the menu that I was telling you about. So it's three courses for twenty two ninety five, and that includes a uh, oh no, and the champagne cocktail is nine ninety five. So um, nice little selection of starters, mains, and desserts. All looks really, really good. I'm gonna have a look. I love the ivy though. It's fab, isn't it? Really nice. We're just looking at the cushions. <laughs> you even had a little unzip to see um, what if the like brand was on there, but we think they were made bespoke. Very nice. Cocktails have just been poured. We've had a sip. They're quite strong, aren't they? For a Monday. Cheers, mate. Cheers, mate. Happy Monday. Starters have arrived. The waiter just poured my soup in front of me. They're like a little cheeky pour. <laughs> Ewan's gone for a nice little ham hock salad. Looks stunning. I'm gonna dig on in. We have ordered rosé. <laughs> It's rosé all day. However, I just feel like a big glass. I can't yeah. it's a small glass, but a large measure. It is quite large. It is quite large. Yeah. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. It's lovely. Right, our main course have arrived. How good is this? Look? This is the jackfruit salad with like chilli and peanut butter. So it does, doesn't it? Yeah. Really good. Ewan's ordered a side of broccoli and you've got a nice little flat iron steak with mm. a fried egg and some chunky chips and we've got the rosé. The rosé is the most important thing, isn't it? Cheers, dear. Cheers, cheers. Guys, this is my third coffee of the day, so if I'm <laughs> rambly and wired after this, sorry. <laughs> Ewan's gone for a nice little pot of breakfast tea. Very sensible. <laughs> Without sounding too excited, <laughs> we've just been presented this. It's like a mountain of a dessert. So this comes as part of the three course um, set menu. It's like a dream dessert. Um, it's all centered around dreams. So we're gonna dig on in. I don't, I don't know what it is. <laughs> it's an immune fog. I'm not really sure what we're eating, but it looks fantastic. Well, there's some chocolate down the table. Oh, wow. The waiter just came and poured salted caramel. So, oh, it's like Sunday. Oh, I remember reading mm. like Sunday. I'm gonna go in ice cream. Which is oh, like delicious. Mm. Oh, yeah. I don't know if you can hear that, I've got popping candy in my mouth, so if you hear it crackling, that's what that is. I've just hit like the chocolate middle. Oh my god, that is fantastic. So we finished up lunch, and we're just walking past Liberty, you and taking some photos. They've got the gorgeous um, like flowers outside at Wild at Heart. It's always nice to see. Lunch was delicious. I'll link that um, lunch offer down below because it's a really good, like, nice little good value. Anyway, we are heading towards John Lewis now. Into the sun. We're battling Regent Street and we've kind of put two and two together and figured out that it's Easter holiday break has started <laughs> now. Definitely. Um, there seems to be like a lot of tourists in town as well, which is really good. Yes. But obviously... Coach loads. <laughs> coach loads of tourists. It's very busy. Yeah. So I feel like we need to uh, just head down and go. <laughs> oh gosh. Elbows out. Elbows out. <laughs> no, we're always super friendly. We don't elbow tourists. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, the camera looks like I do through rosé eyes. It's very blurred. Oh, there we are. We're back. <laughs> We're in John Lewis, it's a really big John Lewis, it's their flagship, it's like five floors and we're heading towards the home department. Ewan is still sofa hunting and I'm still cushion hunting, so hopefully we'll be somewhat more successful. Here we are. I'm really liking the um, Morris and Cords, this like, kind of like design, it's really nice, it's quite, I mean, not too bad. Good filling, I think that's always yeah. good to look for, but I like the patterns. They've got like a bird one here that's lovely. Definitely a consideration. I think something with like a red undertone with green would work. Um, it's for our armchair, so it's getting some inspiration. This is quite nice as well. I like the colours of that. We have found a winner, and we've got save twenty percent off Morrison Core cushions and bean bags. I think this red is going to go so nice, and it's got tones of green as well, which will tie with the living room. Um, it is a little bit expensive, however, with the discount, I think we're onto a winner. We can try it. If we're not loving it, we can always bring it back. I do this with you and all the time I lose him. I like look up for two seconds and he just is gone. <laughs> I'll just wait here. I'm sure you can see my head. Feet up, dear. Feet up. That's a lovely colour. Mmm, I like that a lot. Oh, very nice. It's so nice that Uncuckoo is now stocked in John Lewis as well because this is such a favourite brand of mine and their pieces are lovely. It's like Scandinavian rustic design. I went to their flagship store and it's in Devon near Solcombe and it was so lovely. My aunt is a big fan of Uncuckoo as well. The designs are just so nice. I love that cake stand with the glass cloche. That's fab. I'm home now. <laughs> Look at you just sat there. Perfect little queen. Back with Zara. Zara's been working from home today, so she's looked after Max. Have you just been sat in the window looking at the sun the whole day? 
Look at you go. I actually had to stop her because I was scared it would hurt her eyes. No, I'm a pretty queen. Look at your eye. I saw loads of golden retrieves in town today. Is that a sign? Do you want a little sibling? I said earlier in the vlog that I'd show you what we picked up at the weekend from Facebook Marketplace and here we are. This um, Zara found on Facebook Marketplace. It is a 1920s Singer sewing machine. Now we knew it was from 1920s because there was a little serial number here. Um, but we are so, so pleased with this. It's from a lovely guy in um, Kennington, so just down the road from us in London. I paid £25 for this. It's not in the best nick, like there is a little bit of rust. However, um, we've given it a bit of a polish and I think I'm going to get some wax for the wood. But it's such a fab little piece of kit and there is some threads and um, needles and techie bits in here. So we could definitely get it back to work and order. And how cool is this? It's an old Rolls Royce um, history of the motor car in here and I think this dating back to like the 19, I think it's 1910 that I read on this. Lovely. 1907 actually. How amazing is that? I'd have loved a Rolls Royce back then. <laughs> but yeah, such a fab, fab find. But yeah, the um, handle fully works and the little foot comes down and up. So pleased with that. I feel like it fits really, really nicely here. And I just popped the binoculars that I got in um, devices up top. It's really came together with our little drink selection. So pleased with this, but yeah, 25 pounds. What an absolute fab find. I love that you've stitched a duck up. You've done a great job. We got this duck from Maggie from Pets at Home. Her favorite thing. She's very much enjoyed it. And um, she took all of the stuff. Now you've done a great job, Zara. Did you use the sewing machine? I can't say I did, no. I said we were up in. This is the one thing I'm not looking forward to about summer. We need to have our windows open because it obviously gets so warm, but then you open your windows and you hear the angry people of London. Anyway. <laughs> we ordered some new prints for these picture frames. Uh, they've been shipped today. Oh, have they? Yeah, so oh, they no, that's shipped. all right. No, fantastic news. So um, yeah, we had a bit of a change up on the shelf and um, we just wanted something that was a bit more fun, a bit more, slightly more colorful because these were well, this one originally wasn't here, we just had this in the cupboard, so we've ordered them off of Desenio, but we've gone for something a little bit different, and I think it's going to look really nice, and um, I'm going to show Zara what I picked up in John Lewis. Right, I've just popped the cushion in, and oh my goodness, I love this. Zara's on board too, which is always good. Maggie, are you on board? <laughs> this was, um, yeah, it was 32 instead of 45, so it did have a bit of a reduction on it, and I know, obviously, Morrison Core prints are quite premium. Yeah, I think it ties in really nice with, like, the Pookie lamp, very, very happy with that indeed. There we are, I've just popped the tulips in the new vase. I'm so happy with that, for £3.50, I think that is an absolute steal. Tulips were two bunches for £6 from Waitrose, and I love the colours. I just asked Zara if she's got any um, coppers, a 2p pence piece is supposed to. Oh, yeah, I think any copper, as long as it's, there we are. Don't Apparently it just, nice. mm, it's fine. It's supposed to stop them from um, drooping. Mm. So I've just tried my um, shirt on from Primark. I'm so pleased with this. Five pounds, what an absolute bargain. And it feels really good quality as well. I went for a large, I'm kind of liking more oversized fits. Um, and I think this is lovely. Definitely more of an autumnal piece, but I think even with today's outfit, it looks great. I've just tried on the um, t-shirt jumper that Ewan gave me, and I really, really like it. I wasn't sure what to do with the neck, so I've just tucked it in. I think this is really nice. Really, really like spring kind of like outfits, strobing a bit on camera, so sorry about that. It's not going to be nice to look at, but um, I'm very happy with it. Sarah's just surprised me with an early Easter tree. Mini, you just are very kind. Mini egg. Nest cakes, these look delicious. I don't think, I mean, my dessert earlier, I said this to you and it was like a proper sugar rush and you and had it as well. This. I love how I'm like, this is for you, but I'm gonna open them. I'm definitely gonna eat two of them. Oh, I saw you open that. Oh, Stop wow. that right now. Oh, they look good. They look really tasty to be fair. Mm. They're from Sainsbury's, right? Yeah. Fantastic. Well, that's pudding salt tonight. <laughs> Maggie, would you like an Easter treat? You've got some things. Oh, Maggie, have you got some exciting things? We'll show those things. in the next vlog. <laughs> so we're starting on dinner. Just pop some cherry tomatoes in a little roasting tin with some um, red onion. This is the pasta we use and we pick this up at the weekend from a lovely Italian deli. Um, and then just sprinkle some chili flakes on and then you roast the whole bulb of garlic in there. We're just gonna cut that in half. Loads of olive oil, salt and pepper. Blitz it up, chops are good.
right, pasta is cooked, so you just add that straight back into your roasting tray. And then, yeah, go for the sauce. We've just blended up everything that roasted. Sorry, it's quite steamy. There we are. It doesn't look appetizing, but it tastes delicious. Dinner is served. How good does that look? It is like the easiest and most delicious meal. And we've got a little bit of garlic bread and some parmesan. Guys, we're literally still having dinner and I cannot cope with this dog. I love her so much. She's tucked herself in. Listen. Oh, you can just hear her deep breathing. Ah, I love her. Right, I'm gonna wrap up this vlog. We are all snuggled up. Oh, hi. <laughs> I uh, really hope you've enjoyed this vlog. Ewan has also been vlogging today as well. Of course, I will link his video down below. And also, when this is live, happy Easter Sunday. I hope you've had or are having a lovely uh, Easter Sunday, whatever you've got up to. And and I, um, I will be vlogging over the Easter weekend as well, so there'll be a very lovely video coming soon. So yeah, thanks so much for watching. Love to you all. Take care, and I'll catch you all very soon. Bye for now.